Welcome to the Sonoran Desert Spotlight here at Lost Dutchman State Park. I am Ranger Jody, and today I want to talk to you about another Southwest icon, the Greater Roadrunner. It is a member of the Cuckoo family. The Roadrunner is the fastest flying bird native to the Sonoran Desert. This bird could easily beat any of us in a foot race. A very fascinating creature indeed. Some of us may remember the Roadrunner from the cartoons from our childhood tormenting the wily e. Coyote. This bird has been clocked at 26 miles per hour. You will typically see them buzzing around the landscape at or below 17 miles per hour. Thankfully, we don't have any coyotes at the park trying to drop anvils off the Superstition Mountains or riding rockets around the campground in an effort to catch one of our speedy Roadrunners. But and this is a pretty big but. If you see any shenanigans like this going on, please let us know because we want to see too. As I may have hinted at before, roadrunners are fast. They're so quick because they don't really like to fly. Their short two foot wingspan makes it difficult to keep their large bodies off the ground. They prefer to get where they are going on foot, but if they must, they will fly very short distances, roughly 13 feet at a time. It's almost really like a big hop as they don't get very high off the ground either, maybe only 10 feet. They're simply not adapted to flying. When you are lucky enough to see one speeding around, they are almost always hunting for food. Roadrunners are omnivores, and they will eat just about anything they may have the opportunity to catch, to include rattlesnakes. Can you imagine running around with a rattlesnake in your mouth that's trying to bite you to regain its freedom? No thanks. To solve this problem, they will thrash it against the ground to subdue it, making it easier to consume. Once the squirming stops, the roadrunner will then swallow it whole. If their capture is large enough, they will run around with part of it hanging out of its mouth until it can be fully swallowed. Roadrunners are zippy enough to catch a hummingbird while they are at their nectar feeders. This fact I do not enjoy, but Perhaps it will discourage people from using hummingbird feeders as it makes these spectacular birds an easy target for predators. I know, the circle of life, but do you really want to contribute to it in that respect? Speaking of the circle of life... During the spring, a male and female roadrunner will take a shine to one another. They typically will mate for life. And as with all things roadrunner, this process is quick too. In our beautiful Sonoran Desert, the springtime vegetation is lush after a winter rainy season, making this the best time to raise a brood. As with many places in the spring, food is simply more abundant. Their clutch may include up to 10 eggs that will incubate in approximately 20 days. After the eggs have hatched, the male and female will care for their young together for roughly three weeks. Once the hatchlings have mastered the ability to catch their prey independently and can feed themselves, then off they go to enjoy a speedy life and of course they must stay away from those wily e. coyotes. Thank you for spending some time with me today to learn about the Sonoran Desert. Please look for us on Instagram and have a spectacular day.